Hi, my name is Troy. I'm going to be discussing the coin sorter built by Group 5, Class ECE 4600 Capstone at Wayne State University, Fall of 2016. To get started, we'll first look at the metal hopper located at the top of the machine. Now we can see inside the hopper, the user drops in a handful of coins and the rotor in the middle will rotate, bring coins up to the top, and drop coins through the back where the section is cut out here. Now that the coins have dropped onto the track, they will flow down the track in this direction to the ID circuit, which we will take a closer look at right now. So the ID portion of this machine consists of two coils and an LED and a light sensor. When a coin passes through these coils, it changes the inductance of the coils, creating a voltage difference, which is then amplified through some instrumentation to create a DC pulse. Once the light sensor detects that a coin is now blocking the LED, we sample that pulse and start to calculate what type of coin it is. The coin now drops down into the sorting section, where the sorting and counting finally takes place. Finally at the sorting section is an array of solenoids and LEDs and light sensors. The solenoids pull back small sections of the track allowing the coins to fall through when they are at the appropriate place which is detected by the LEDs and light sensors. Here's a demonstration of what that all looks like in motion. As you can see, the bins catch the coins real well. All of our nickels, all of the dimes, and let's not forget the mighty quarter. Great success! <laughs> <laughs> 